Hi everyone, Andy Trice back again. And today I want to show you some other experiments that I've been working with with Adobe's digital publishing suite. Um, I recently did a blog post showing how you can use Accelerometer inside of a DPS publication by leveraging HTML and taking advantage of um, device motion events inside of the web view. And I've got a couple other examples that build on this exact same idea. Uh, one of them is actually a vertical panorama. So it's one image that in the same image, it's got a perspective looking straight down and a perspective looking straight forwards. And depending how you tilt the device, it's actually looking at that perspective in the image. Another one is really similar, similar to my previous example, except it's actually in line with other content inside of the DPS publication. So you can see how you can have one element that moves inside other static or stationary content. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at these. So here we are in the Adobe Content Viewer. Um, first, here's my previous example showing the accelerometer inside of a web view inside of DPS content. I can tap on this so you can see my navigation. I am in a DPS container. And I've corrected the bug that was in the last build where I had the plants in the background moving the wrong direction. And you can see that the foreground and the background elements all move at a different rate based upon the motion, the orientation of the device. So the next one I want to show you is an example of having similar content that, that will have motion inside of static content. So the, at the top, uh, the content static, at the bottom, the content static, but this section in here is actually dynamic. So if you look, there, the, the flag, the motion of the flagpole and the building in the foreground is independent of the background. And it just gives a very subtle depth effect, like you're looking around the flagpole. I think this one could actually benefit from a, a few more layers of depth to give it a, a better uh, sense of movement, but um, you can get an idea of how it functions, and you can see that that's actually in both the portrait and the landscape orientation. This next one I want to show you is the vertical panorama I was talking about uh, that's tied into the accelerometer. So when the device is sitting flat, it's looking straight down, so you can see we're looking straight down on the trees here. And as we tilt the device forward, you can see it looks out towards the horizon. Now, this could be distracting from your actual textual content in a DPS publication, so it's not going to work for every scenario. But if you want to add some interactivity, kind of an immersive nature to your DPS experiences, this is certainly an option. And you can see that it's tied to the orientation for the angle of viewing, but if we also tilt in either direction, you can see it's like we're looking left and right in the image. So there you have it. Those are a few other examples of when you can use dynamic content that's updated based upon the orientation of the device inside of a DPS publication. To see more how I did this and also access all source code, be sure to check out my blog at tricedesigns.com. Thanks.